You're watching Up North at 4. It is Tuesday, June 16th. Grab yourself a cup of tea or coffee because it's tea time here in the Northwoods. Jeff, how you doing? You know, it feels like Wednesday for me because I worked on Sunday. I know. So I'm off a day. Are you going to take a day off sometime this day? Sometime. We're working on a special airing on this Friday, so uh -huh. my days are long right now. Got it. Okay. So once that's behind us and there's Father's Day weekend, then I have some time off. Um, through probably a few Mondays and Fridays in there as well. Well deserved. Thank you. I will give you those times Thanks off. Thanks very much. How are you? <laughs> I'm okay. I'm ready for some tea time. All right. <laughs> All right, let's get into it. All right, Marshfield Area Pet Shelter's annual pause for Brittany event in memory of animal lover Brittany Zimmerman normally takes place on Mother's Day weekend, but due to COVID-19, the popular fun run and dog walk event was canceled. Mm, yeah. But a dozen dozens of people particip participated virtually. Okay. Now the shelter directors worked with a local print shop and designed event t-shirts like this one. Proceeds from the t-shirt sale raised over a thousand dollars thousand dollars to support mm -hmm. the shelter. Now the event normally fundraises uh, more than ten thousand dollars but the shelter says every dollar does help. Okay so they made some money back and by getting creative so, yes. and going online. But it's a little sad that you know they the event normally brings in about ten thousand dollars and you know this this year because of COVID-19 they only made you know about a thousand. Yeah there's lots of organizations like this that are really behind on their fundraising goals mm -hmm, so if you can people out there who have some bucks uh, try to give it if you can. Yeah if you want to donate to the shelter you can visit uh, www.marshfieldpetshelter.org slash donate. Uh, we have a link on our Facebook up north at four uh, if you want to find it really easily. Cool. All right, in a small town like Rhinelander, small businesses are the heart of the local economy. Amid the COVID-19 pandemic, local businesses, businesses have been hit hard and are now trying to make a financial comeback. Now, so the Rhinelander Area Chamber of Commerce announced a campaign yesterday to encourage people to help support and shop locally. The Buy Local Initiative uh, campaign runs for eight weeks. Now the chamber will emphasize their social media presence with graphics so people can show their thanks to businesses. Chamber Director Lauren Sackett says the campaign taglines are support, revive, prosper, and our community, our future. I love this, but I, I think the, the trick here is to make it simple. Yes. So when you have the thought in your head, I need something, mm -hmm. Walmart doesn't come to mind. What comes to mind is a local business you can support for that one item that you need. That is true because normally it's kind of how, how can we go to Walmart really quickly and be in and out. Right. So how do you keep this simple to buy local, supporting local businesses mm -hmm. who need, you need to know what you need mm -hmm. and that they have it on stock. Yeah, I know we're not going to be perfect, but maybe a goal of like on the weekend, on Saturday, you're going to take a stroll downtown, mm -hmm. downtown Rhinelander and kind of see, you know, what's going on, what do the stores have available. Maybe you shop, maybe you eat and shop a little and, you know, make a day out of it. And by the way, you can meet some people and have conversations. It's okay. Exactly. Right? All right, the 55th annual art show online, uh, the Menino Art Leagues 2020 art show will take place online. That was a little repetitive. <laughs> it's online, we know that. <laughs> it's online okay. on July 16th. <laughs> the deadline for the entry on June 3rd, it, on June 30th is approaching fast. Now this online art show provides all the benefits of the in-person show, normally held each summer at the Mantwish Waters Community Center with even broader exposure anticipated for the online show. So it's supposed to be a really, you know, still really a big event. The art show will evolve into an online gallery uh, and the exhibit will run as an um, art show. Why am I seeing this repetitive words on my screen That's okay, right but now? you're, you know, you're a little artsy fartsy, right? A little bit. You know, I'm, I'm pretty sure I can see you kind of building things and, you know, kind of drawing. We had, I think we had Tom on the show once, right? Yeah. We draw like cityscapes or like forest backgrounds. Remember that? Yes. That was fun. Okay. I, I appreciate art, but I am not an artsy. Me and art, we don't get along. I will draw stick figures. I am just not the creative person. So the person. art loses. <laughs> the art <laughs> and loses. You lose. Uh, I lose. <laughs> yeah. So my, my, my technology is messing up right now, but the long story short is artists, if you are wanting to to take part in this um, in the event, you got to go uh, go in and, and sign up. Go to our Facebook uh, up north at four, and you'll find the link uh, to be able to sign up online. And it costs, I think, is there a registration fee? I think it might be like twenty five dollars. Twenty five dollars. Okay. Yeah. yeah. 